Oh, Kasili Dokio, I'm an idiot. <laughs> hey Blasters, Sean from Blue Dog Blasting. Today we're going to be using our fan nozzle. We're going to be using the contractor thread even though it does come in uh, inch and a quarter thread as well. This is the 12-203 on the website. Information is listed you below. We're going to be using our Empire Soda Pot and see if we can't get a nice stream. Get rid of that hot spot using the fan nozzle. It is a 3 8 inch gap. Contractor thread, all polyurethane with a tungsten carbide core, and we're gonna see what we can do. We've got a sheet of uh, plywood that we have a little bit of smoke and fire damage on one side, and uh, fire damage on the other. So there is a little bit of charred wood that we're gonna be knocking off and try to make it look all refinished. Stay tuned. Yeah. Get out there and blast. Hey blasters, Sean. Blaster Sean from Blue Dog. We've got our fan nozzle in place hooked up to our Empire Soda Pot. We're going to do a little bit of carbon removal from smoke and fire damage to a piece of plywood and see what kind of results we get using our 12 203 fan nozzle. Blasters, we have a very limited dip giveaway for anybody who goes to bluedogblasting.com and order any part and put TMB in the comment section. We will be shipping you out a free Mobile Blaster t-shirt. Throw me that, Sean. This could be yours today. Get out there and blast. Welcome back to TheMetalFinisher.com. Alright Blasters, so we used our 3 8 fan nozzle, only comes in the one size, does come in contractor thread or standard inch and a quarter thread. Again, it's got the tungsten carbide inners along with the poly jacket, so it is usable with all sorts of materials. Uh, I probably wouldn't use silicone carbide or uh, aluminum oxide, those are a little bit too aggressive for the tungsten carbide uh, material that this is made of, but you could use any of your regular abrasives. We were using baking soda, obviously, and uh, I think it was very effective with what it did. You don't have your hot spot because it's not round with that little bit of overspray like a typical nozzle. You do have that flat groove in there. Comes out in a fan shaped nozzle. I'm sorry, in a fan shape. And we were able to go right along down the, the board. Here you go, Kevin. Thank you. And the board, please. So as we can see, it was very effective removing all of that char and baked on stuff. We had a little bit of smoke damage, a little bit of soot, and on the other side we did have some fire damage as well that we were trying to get. As you can see, it's very good for restoration, but you, as any other uh, sandblasting process, you do want to watch your pressures and everything. We got a little too aggressive and removed some of the wood, but all in all, it's a great nozzle. If you have any comments, leave down at the below section. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, visit us on Facebook, and get out there and blast. Hey Blasters, Sean.